Yeah, it was storming. Yeah, we got it too. And we have a lot of activity to cover, so let's get right to it. We can see most of those showers are starting to diminish, but we can still see some of those heavy pockets indicated by the yellow and the red. But most of these showers have diminished. But what that can leave behind is flash flooding, and that's why there's a flash flood warning in effect till 545 and a flash flood watch for 14 counties indicated by the green right here. So with future cast, let's time it out. We can see some of that heavy rain still persisting indicated by the yellow and the red, but overnight we're going to see another chance for some of these showers to start to develop. So this is at 2 AM and that's why we could see those showers right here in Tucson once again overnight. So if you got the rain earlier today, you may get it once again overnight. Be aware for that. That could increase those flash flood warning and flash flooding chances. Now tomorrow we are going to see another chance of rain. Not as much as today. We're going to have those isolated showers in play, so that's why we're going to have a 30% chance of rain here in Tucson. Most of those storm chances are going to be near the international border. But boy, did it cool things down. 74 degrees is the temperature right now under partly cloudy skies. Winds out of the south southeast at 14 miles per hour, so it is a little bit breezy out there. And the dew point 68 degrees. So while it's not raining right now here at our KVOA studios, it may feel a bit muggy if if you're stepping outside. Temperature wise, it's not going to cool down very much because we're already pretty cool. We'll be in the 70s for overnight lows tonight. 74 in Midtown, 72 in Oral Valley and 72 in the foothills, warming up to the 90s for daytime highs tomorrow, which is actually round where we should be for this time of year with a 30% chance of storms tomorrow metro wide and winds out of the northwest 5 to 10 miles per hour. For Santa Cruz and Cochise counties, you can expect the 60s for overnight lows tonight and 80s and 90s for daytime highs, 89 in Oracle, 93 in Safford, and 87 in Wilcox. But let's check out the seven day forecast because we will see that 30% chance of storms tomorrow, but then this will start to diminish a 10% chance of rain on Monday. And while we start to dry out, we're going to start to warm up. We'll be at 105 Wednesday and Thursday. So once again, well above average for this time of year. And then our next chance of monsoon storm development will come next Friday into the weekend 70s for overnight lows.